1,000 doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine have made it to the Badger State this week alone. Yeah, with more vaccines possibly being approved soon, including the Moderna vaccine, which could be approved as early as today, a doctor showed our Julia Fellow exactly how each of these vaccines work in our bodies to protect us. First things first, we asked Dr. Mary Beth Graham, infectious disease specialist at Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin, the question many of you want to know. Is there a difference between the Pfizer vaccine, like what they use, and the Moderna vaccine? They're essentially both, they're both mRNA vaccines. The RNA Dr. Graham is referring to are inside these spike proteins surrounding the COVID-19 virus. And then our genetic material, our DNA, but we read it. So we read it and then make antibodies against the, that spike protein. In layman's terms, scientists found a way to create a vaccine that can pass COVID-19's RNA code to help your immune system spot and destroy the virus before it can make you sick. It cannot incorporate into your cell or change the DNA of your cell or mutate or do anything weird inside you. It's just a little message that your own genetic material reads it. Both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines will not inject you with a dead or weakened COVID-19 virus, which is common in other shots like influenza vaccine. That's part of the reason why you need two doses. You'll have your maximal antibody response and your maximal immune response if you get the two shot series. So the first shot and the second shot in about three weeks. Because this vaccine was developed so fast, pregnant women and children under 16 years old are not recommended to take it because these two groups were not involved in the scientific trials. Pfizer says its vaccine is 95% effective. Moderna says it is 94.1. To put that into perspective, Dr. Graham says on a good year, the flu vaccine is 60% effective. That's huge yeah. because this virus is incredibly it's very easily spread. It's highly infectious. All right, Julia, thank you very much. The head of the FDA says the agency will move quickly to grant the Moderna vaccine emergency use authorization, and it could actually happen by the end of the day today.